Hi, my name is Phil Skipper. I'm the Head of Business Development for Vodafone's IoT business. And I'm very pleased to have with me Dr Christian Gherkins from Bayer because today we're going to talk about some very exciting developments in mobile asset tracking. Now, mobile asset tracking was one of the very early applications for IoT and it's been used very spectacularly in areas like shipping, automotive and pharmaceuticals. But the challenge has always been to get a device that's simple enough to connect for the mass market. And over the last couple of years, Vodafone, Murata and Arm and Altair have been developing new technology, including two things. One is iSIM, where the SIM card that you normally have in a phone is embedded in the chip of the device itself. And the second one are low power wide area networks, which mean that you can use the same network that you have for your mobile phones, but you can use it for very low power battery devices. Now, the combination of low power and this iSIM actually means that you can develop devices which are very easy to connect, you can track them anywhere, and they're very suitable for mass market applications. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk about a very exciting new innovation that Bayer have developed. And I'm very pleased to introduce Christian, who's gonna tell us a little bit more. Thank you very much for the introduction, Phil. I'm glad to be here today in my home office and with you on the webinar and to, sh to guide you through the smart label, our innovative tracking solution, and I hope to inspire people with that. My name is Christian Gerkens, and I am in the role as Global Category Lead for Herbicides in Procurement with Bayer. Bayer's management structure comprises three different divisions. Number one, pharmaceuticals. Prescription medicines for on oncology, women's health, for example. Then we have division number two is consumer health. Non-prescription medicines, focusing on pain, dermatology, and also cardiovascular risk prevention. And number three, crop science. Crop science is the world's leading agricultural business enterprise. With businesses in seeds, crop protection, and digital farming. Bayer's purpose is to use science for a better life. And as a natural scientist, I can easily identify with that. And then the vision is hunger for none and health for all. In crop science, our mission is to deliver world-class innovation. That means farmers not only need to grow more products, they need to grow sufficiently for the planet and its people. We're pioneering the digital transformation. So that means for us we're combining data science with digital tools to internally improve our efficiency and to externally allow farmers to know more about how to grow crops. We're also setting new standards in sustainability. For us that means every investment in innovation in the end is an investment in sustainability. And our long-term success as a company does not lie in selling more products and thus increasing the revenue. It lies in new business models, in outcome-based business models. And that's in a sense what our business strategy is about. Health for all and hunger for none is a fantastic vision. So can you explain a little bit about how mobile asset tracking helps you to get there? Let me divide it into three different pillars. Operations, new business models and customer experience. Let's start with operations. Inventory data is crucial for supply chain planning. Insufficient data may lead to overproduction or undersupply. Overproduction will lead to the decay of goods and in the end to a depreciation of goods. Undersupply will lead to less revenue. So it's crucial to have the right data about supply chain planning, to allow supply chain planning efficiently and effectively. In addition, inadmissible storage conditions will lead to the decay of goods 
And what we want to is, we want to provide our farmers effective products. And therefore we need data beyond our distributors. Are the storage conditions good? Are they in a way that our products are still effective when they are applied by farmers? Number two is new business models. And I'm pretty sure the smart label will contribute to new business models, to outcome-based business models. Besides other factors like environmental data, like field information. And with that in mind, I'm thinking about real-time data for pest control. If there is a certain area where there is a pest, and people are applying a certain product, a smart label would allow to register this product, to register something is going on there. And if you have a certain product somewhere else, then you can, uh, then you can ship it early in advance to the, direct, to the area where it's needed. And you can apply early counter-preventive measures. Number three, customer experience. Very important for us. And here we want to provide farmers with real-time delivery status. That means they exactly know when their product will arrive. And on the way there, they would know where it is. In addition, we are facing the risk of thefts. And if high-quality products are under risk, then there is a, definitely there is an impact on our revenue. In addition, we want to improve our logistics. That means we want to improve our supply reliability, which is a benefit for us and for the customers. And we want to release farmers from um, high documentation efforts. And the smart label may have an impact on that. So that are the challenges we are facing. And what we need is more visibility, higher transparency, and control in our supply chain. If you think about the current situation, COVID-19, if people are in a certain area, are taking a specific remedy, then you would know where something is happening and you can deliver the right date, the right products into this direction to resolve an issue. Well, that's really interesting. The combination of some really quite critical business needs is actually coming at the same time that we're seeing ISIM and low power networks coming to market. Now, that's resulted in a really interesting development by Bayer, which is the smart label. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the smart label is and what it does? Of course, Phil. But first, let me show you a video. I hope this inspiring video is exciting you, because we are excited. And where we are right now, the only reason for achieving this is a very strong partner network. We reached out, for example, to Vodafone, to Zodak, Elmerick, Sony Altair, to different partners because we were having technolo technological challenges. 
and we mutually face those challenges and overcome those. And we are still developing, further developing, improving the, the label. And those partners are super committed and provided their key technologies. And now you would like to see how does a label look like. That's the label. Super thin. Here I have a two euro bar. And now you're wondering where's the technology? This guy was talking about temperature, sensors. Here we are. Here is the technology. What you see here is the battery, the printed battery. It's based on an alkaline battery instead of a lithium battery because we are working in explosion hazardous environments. And if you cut it, it only dries out. There is no risk with an alkaline battery. Our requirement is that we want to have this technology to send messages for more than two years. So, so that means we want to have 1,000 messages in a lifetime per label. Each message has just a volume, a size of 50 bytes. So we have a very low data volume. What is crucial here? As this should be, as this label should be automatically printed on packages, we need a flexible and very small chip. And therefore, iSIM technology is absolutely crucial. The integrated SIM, because then we do not have any physical SIM anymore. In addition, we are using the LTEM and narrowband IoT network for connectivity. So you can, con you can track your products all over the world where LTEM and or narrowband IoT is available at every time. There is no maintenance. And let me talk about precision. This is a very important topic. We are interested in mass, in, in mass products we want to track, and we are interested in big data. We are not interested in a single device. Let me tell you the difference. If you want to track your car, you want to exactly know where it is. If you're tracking an e-scooter because it has to be recharged, you want to know exactly where it is. We are not interested in a, in a high precision. You can say we have an inaccuracy regarding, pre regarding, precision, local, regarding precision and localization by design. In addition, we have a variety of sensors in there. We have, for example, temperature, humidity and movement because we have a dynamic interval of sending messages. If the product is not, is not moving, it will send less messages. So it's also um, to save battery and reduce the power consumption. And with that, overall, we want to establish new business models, we want to increase operations, and we want to contribute to a highly improved customer experience. Well, that's really quite incredible. The combination of low power wide area networks and the iSIM technology, plus your ability to create this smart label in a way that can be simply stuck onto a parcel. And then when you ship it, you can detect that product anywhere in the supply chain. And you can also understand its environmental conditions over a two year period is absolutely fantastic. So. I think it's a great advance. Now, I wonder if you could tell me, Christian, a little bit more about how having the smart la label enables you to digitize your business. Phil, you're absolutely right. Previously, we were talking about the business challenges we were facing. So now let's translate challenges into use cases. And the biggest use case for us is real-time inventory channel. We want to get rid of overproduction over and undersupply. We want to have a reliable planning to provide the right amount of products and to, and to produce the right amount of products. That helps us to just think about, it. just press a button and you know what amount of product you have in a certain area. I think that's a super 
beneficial business case. In addition, we have, we can also, you can also establish a kind of a control tower because you can track your products and the storage conditions because there are sensors like temperature, humidity, and this allows you to provide effective products to your customers. And that's also part of customer experience. An additional part of customer experience is to provide a real-time delivery status. And I think with the, those internal and also external benefits, the smart label is a high valuable product. And this has the potential to re revolutionize not our, in, our industry, but also many more. Now, one of the big things about iSIM is it makes it very easy to connect devices to the network because all of the configuration can be done over the air. Now, listening to you, Christian, I think one of the major differences between mobile asset tracking and what you're doing with your smart label is scale. Can you give us some indication as to how many of these devices you think are going to be produced for your products over the coming years? Yes, Phil, you're absolutely right. Scale is important for us. We internally, as Bayer, want to have 10 million devices per year in the market by 2025. And we want to apply it to a wide range of products. In the, in the wider market, we see an opportunity of hundreds of millions of devices per year. And to achieve that, we need roll-on, roll-off manufacturing processes to, to attach the label to the right range of products. And to achieve this, that many people, many companies are using the label, we need to scale. And with scale comes price. And our vision is to have a price around 5 euros per label. So that's really great. Now, what can we expect to see next from Bayer and the smart label? Currently, we are stress testing our solution. We are preparing pilots with 20,000 labels for different regions and countries, and those will be conducted within the next month. As we are expecting promising results, we are confident to scale up afterwards to achieve our ambitious target to gain and benefit from 10 million devices in the market by 2025. Concurrently, together with our partner network, we are preparing commercialization and mass production. Thereby we will offer an end-to-end -end solution from hardware over connectivity to gaining data insights. And with that comprehensive package, we sh this shall allow a successful market entry and finally make Smart Label the most favored tracking solution. Thank you, Christian. That's been a really good in-depth view of Bayer's approach, your strategy, and how you're going to deploy the smart label on your products. And for me, this really is a game changer. It takes mobile asset tracking from just the high value consignments right down into the mass market. And I think we've only just seen the beginning of the transformation that iSIM, low power wide area networks, and the smart label can bring. So thank you again for your time today. Very interesting. Thank you.